questions you're looking for is what is the minimum velocity that you need to be going to achieve some distance in the um, X direction? So in this one, you have the, the diver in Acapulco, and there are rocks beneath, and so hopefully the diver is well aware of the rocks, and they need to know how fast do they need to be going when they leap off of here and land into the water. So we can make a list for ourselves. We'll go in the X direction, do we have anything? V initial. Well, that's a big question mark. We don't know. If we don't have air resistance, then V final equals V initial. And therefore, acceleration is zero. And we don't know how long he is in the air, or she. So let's see why. Again, whenever we take something starting from the top of like a cliff or a table or anything, when it's starting with the surface supporting it, its initial velocity is zero. We don't know its final velocity. We know its acceleration is 9.8. Let's decide if that's gonna be positive or negative. And T, we don't know. Ah, uh, the delta Y, we do, 36 meters. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before just to make my life easier. I'm going to call down as positive and to the right as positive. So this will be a positive quantity. And just to re re reinforce what I did last time, that means that I'm calling this y equals zero, and this last spot down here, I'm calling y equals positive 36 meters, 36 meters. So this total height, then my delta y is a positive value. Final minus initial gives me a positive value, okay? So now I look at that, and let's see, what can I think about this? Okay, let's grab my the equations we have from the previous one. And this feels an awful lot like that. Well, I know in for my x, whoops, I do have my delta x, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. We know what our delta x is, that's that six meters, which actually, I'm gonna pause for a minute and talk about this. Whenever you're asked these questions, the, the speed that you're going to get is going to just get you to the edge of those rocks. So on mastering physics or on my exams, you don't need to figure out that plus a smidge. That is going to be the minimum velocity. You need to be going any amount faster than that to clear the rocks. So this V, we're gonna use our delta X as being just six. I'm not gonna worry about stretching that out any. Okay, so I'm gonna run off. What do I have? I know, I know, I know. In the X, the same thing holds. Rate times time equals distance. So velocity times time equals delta x. And I look here, I don't know what that is. That's what we want to know. Time, I don't know. The delta x, I do know. So I have that piece. Over here, I have my height and my acceleration. So I kind of feel like we can do something very similar, where if I look at this, I can go, let's see, my initial in the y is zero. So I can use this exact same approach that I used from last time and I can solve for the time. So I can do this, I can say, okay, so V final, I'm sorry, delta Y equals V naught T plus one half AT squared. We know that piece is zero, so then this becomes that the square root of two delta Y divided by acceleration will give me my time. Now I can put in my values that I have this equals, I'll do it down here, this equals two times, I'm 36 meters up, divided by my acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. And that gives me, let's see what that gives me. <laughs> my husband talking to my dogs, that's what that gives me, two times 36 divided by 9.8, and then take the square root of that. And that says that I'm in the air 2.71 seconds. Cool. So now, I know this, I know this, so I kind of feel like that's it. All I need to do 
is plug the time in here and the delta x, and that's going to give me what I need. So this problem sounded kind of scary-ish, but in the end, I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. So my v initial is going to equal my delta x divided by time. Let's see, what do we have here? We have 6 meters divided by this 2.71 seconds. So I can just do this, go 6 divided by my last answer, and I get that I must be going 2.21 meters per second. So that is my minimum velocity in the X. Done. Is that it? I feel like I should have asked more. Nope, that's it. So I need to go some amount faster than that to avoid the rocks, and then life is good.